Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to do a quick video on the stutter effect. This is a real versatile and popular effect. If you actually go to the Mark Ronson Uptown Funk video featuring Bruno Mars at the 123 mark, you can see it in action. And so it's just kind of a fun, different effect. It almost creates a sense of almost like a, a time shift or some kind of a glitch or something. So it's a real kind of fun, versatile effect that you can use in your music videos or in just another any kind of place where you're wanting to create that effect so for this i just i'm on just a single video track and i've got my nephew here he's an aspiring ukulele player he's just getting ready to walk down the hallway i was actually testing out a steady cam with him so i'm gonna you just decide where you want to have the stutter effect occur so let's say as soon as he starts walking right there i want it to happen so what i can do is i can press m on the keyboard just to kind of mark my spot and then i want to zoom into the frame level so where you see these individual frame hash marks so you kind of know where you are so if we look here over here on our counter we see that we're at the one minute mark 25 seconds and we're on the second frame if that's our location to start our stutter so i'll just hit s i'll click over here and click here and click S on the keyboard to split it. Now, if you hold down Alt and the horizontal arrow key, press it, it moves you forward exactly one frame and you see that changed. So we move forward one frame and I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and I'm gonna hit split to isolate that one frame. So now I have one frame isolated. Now coming over here, I'm gonna need to make a gap to actually create a stutter effect. You need to remove a number of frames here. You can remove anywhere from three to seven or maybe even more. It just depends how pronounced you want the actual stuttering effect to be. So if you remove three or four, that's a mild stuttering effect. So if you hold down Alt, we're gonna go one, two, three, four. We're gonna remove four frames and then we're gonna go ahead and click split again. And then we're gonna make a little gap like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the beginning of this clip we're going to hold down alt and we're going to go forward one more frame we'll hit split again and now we have two individual frames separated by about four frames and that should create a stutter so we just drag this over here now i, I might want to push this a little bit out of the way and then what we want to do is we press control and we're going to select this and this and we're going to right click and go copy then we're going to come here and we're going to go paste. And that should have, looks like I only had one selected. So let me just go ahead and delete that. I'm not sure what happened there. Let's go hold down control, select, select, control, copy, click here, paste. And there's our two frames. And then we're going to come here and click paste. And then click there, paste. And you can just, however long you want the stutter effect to last is how many times you cut and paste it. So I think four gives you a nice stuttering effect. And then we can just pull this clip back in like this. And then if we hit play, we should have a stuttering effect. It's just a really kind of fun little effect to add in. And it's that simple to do. And like I said, you can use it to create an effect of like a glitch in time, I, I think is the main reason that you might want to use it. And that's it. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you get a chance, please watch some of our other videos. I, I really appreciate it when you take the time to watch these videos all the way through. Thanks so much. Have a great day. And I will talk to you later.